Hi, this is Sergio with GJD3D. And the next definition I'm going to be showing you is our orienting uh, stones uh, scale on orient definition. And basically what this does, it will take an object like this one and it will orient it into where it's supposed to go. And uh, it's got a few tools that are really nice. Uh, so let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me show you, let me open up Grasshopper. Here we go and load that definition. I'm going to open that. Uh, there's a scale, orient stones. And here's our definition. Now, it's got a very interesting uh, functionality that makes it really, really nice and easy. Uh, when you uh, select the circular to the reference, uh, that is referring to our circle or shape of the stone, right? So when I come over here and I select that, in this case, it's not a circular stone, it's a pear, pear shape. But notice what it does, it gives me a circular reference to work with. What I need to do now is I need to go over and bake that to the reference. I'm just gonna throw it in guys, for example, there. And now I have this, this curve, right? which I'm going to use uh, using my quadrant snap. I'm going to go to uh, orient two points and from quadrant to quadrant I'm going to orient it to quadrant to uh, let me put over here scale to 3D copy yes where's my endpoint here we go there and I'm going to hit enter and finish. Now uh, obviously this stone is repeated all around so I'm going to go ahead and do a polar array. Uh, my center will be zero. I have 11 items and uh, 360 is already there so I'll just hit enter. There. So now I have uh, all the references ready to go. So now it says select object to orient and scale. So I'm going to select one geometry and now select all the target to the curves. So in this case multiple curves and I'm going to choose all these circles that I just uh, arrayed. Enter and there they go. As you can see, automatically at the angle that each one is uh, facing the correct direction because it's basing itself on the original circle that came from there. And now I can, you know, do all kinds of really, really interesting things. Uh, for example, uh, see right now I got full tracking on, you know, but, you know, if, if my computer starts to have a problem because there's too many, you know, I can go to box tracking, you know. Uh, I can also go here, go here to rotate. See, rotate all. That means that if I change this angle, they all rotate. In this case, let me put it back to zero. Oops. Zero. Oops. I'm sorry. There we go. And. Uh, but I can also click rotate one by one or rotate randomly. So it's really interesting. You know, you can do all kinds of uh, real interesting uh, configurations of your uh, designs. And once you're happy with your cutters there, all we gotta do is come back over here and bake all. Bake. And these are going to go to, doesn't really matter. I'm going to put them in shank since they're going to be Boolean. And click OK. And if I go to File, Close. Yeah, don't save anything. There we go. And here are my cutters, ready to cut right through uh, the original object, which is underneath. I can unhide.
And now all I have to do is repeat the same thing with the round cutter and the trillium cutter. Here's the, the, the final piece already with all the booleans already done after orienting all the cutters, you know, and with all our stones ready for rendering. If we go to shade it here, we can see more of the Mihai the ground plane. There we go. 